Hey guys, this is Layla from Greenhouse Rabbits. Hold on a second. I guess I'm still used to calling Greenhouse Rabbits, but I totally meant Greenhouse Animals. Oh my gosh. In today's video, it is part two of getting my dogs neutered. And I'm just going to show you how to give your dogs pills and some information about before and after getting your dogs spayed and neutered. Okay, so now we're going to talk about before and after getting your pet spayed or neutered. So before, you need to make sure that they are nine months of age before they get fixed. This, for other animals, it may vary, but for dogs, it's nine months. And so um, this is this is a benefit because they're young, and then you just you can get it done right here instead of having to wait a few years to get it done. Number two, make sure you call your humane society for discounts for um, getting your pet fixed. Um, number three, make sure that the night before you get your pet spayed and neutered that they don't eat or drink anything because the risk of aspiration during anesthesia when they're um, having surgery. Okay, so after your pet gets spayed or neutered, make sure that they stay to a regular diet and that they don't change how they're eating. And you need to make sure you're watching them um, Post-surgery, you need to make sure that they're not eating or drinking differently than they would normally. So, um, you need to also keep them to the regular diet because if you change up their diet, it could upset their stomach, which would not be good since they have an incision and they just had surgery in that area. Number five, make sure you keep the incision dry after they have surgery. So, getting the incision wet can make the stitches or the, the incision come back open, which would not be good because then you'd have to go back to the vet and get it fixed, which could be very uncomfortable for your dog to go through. So um, make sure that you do not give them a bath or get them wet at any time. Don't let them jump in ponds or lakes, or even if you live in the ocean, don't let them jump in the ocean because you don't want it to get infected. Number six, make sure you check their incision twice daily. Make sure that the incision looks the same after it was after it was done. It shouldn't show signs of like redness or like rash or anything like that because you wanna make sure that, that they haven't been rolling in the grass and got poop on their belly and that could, you know, get their um, stomach infected which could open the incision and that's not good. <laughs> Number seven, monitor their pain levels. If they're whining or if they're crying or rubbing their stomach on the ground because it's hurting, you should make sure that you notify your vet because this can open the incision and you don't want your dog to be experiencing pain. For male dogs, for number eight, for male dogs, um, getting your dog neutered does not work just like that. For about a week or two after um, getting neutered, your dog can still have live sperm inside of them, so you do need to make sure you keep them away from females or they're gonna be little puppies running around everywhere. <laughs> Number nine, look out for complications. So if your dog is having issues or problems or just you're not, you don't feel like your dog is acting the same as they would normally, you need to make sure to notify your vet because um, rabbits, you know how rabbits, like they hide their feelings. Dogs don't, they, Still, they can't speak to us. So if they are having problems, they can't come up and say, I'm, my stomach's hurting, I need help. <laughs> they are probably gonna have a change of attitude and a change of appetite and things like that. Okay, so there are your before and after getting your dog fixed. Oh, Alexa, stop! To conclude this, I'm gonna show you how to give your dogs pills. For the first way, for tough dogs like Trooper, all you do is just put the pills in their mouth and they'll automatically swallow them. But you do have to keep their mouth closed so that they will swallow them. So then I'll just give Trooper some cheese too because I love him and then I'll give Gatlin his medicine. So Gatlin's medicine, I just put it in some cheese and he'll swallow it right down. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And this video just took a while to make with the editing. And so I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye.